This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to Fear Bait and Tackle in Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Gary Rusponi. I'm P.D. Vincent, and I've got some exciting news for you, and you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana. P.D., this week on Paradise, Louisiana, we're going we're gonna to give you the floor first. Uh, we're closing out a, a bad duck season, especially for me. Right. Not everybody, but a, but a few of us. Uh, still goose season be going on. We have, we have some good deer coming yes, in the last last week. Not a whole lot of ducks, and uh, fish reports been a little scattered and a little different. So we'll bring you that. So stay tuned for Paradise, Louisiana. When we come back, the floor is here. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. PD. Yes, sir. I've been hearing this, been hearing about this and seeing brochures. Bass cast bass. That's a tongue twister. Yes, sir. And if you say com. it three times fast, I'll give you a free t-shirt. How uh, about that? I'll wait. I'm gonna try to beat you out of there. I'm, I'm not the best speaker in the world. I've been Don Dubuque and Joe Mackler, everybody's been trying to train me. I, I'm I'm not a real good speaker, but I get the word out. And that's but what we're fish. trying to do. Oh, I love to fish and hunt yes, sir. and everything. But we're getting the word out. So I'm going to tell you what. Bass cast bass. We're going to start right now. Yes, sir. Tell us what it is because it's been going on for years in other places. Tell us what we're doing. Yes, sir. Bass cast bass is something that we started back in 2015 uh, on Toledo Bend. Uh, a lot of Louisiana anglers go up and fish Toledo Bend right, on there, right there on the uh, Texas-Louisiana border. Uh, what we do is we put tags on bass, and each one of these tags, at a minimum, $1,000 a piece. $1,000 for a tagged fish. Uh, similar to CCA do, tag red Very, fish very bait. similar. Uh, we just, we do this for bass fishermen, you know. Uh, we, we put tags on bass for $1,000, and then we also have a boat tag that wins a loaded out Phoenix 819, two Humminbird, Helix 9s, two Talon shallow water anchors, a Minn Kota trolling motor, Minn Kota charging system. Is uh, there a fee? $50. $50. $50 is all it costs to, to get you in for the whole four months. Down here on the Delta, this is the first year we've, we've done it down here, uh, $50 to register, and then we offer a bonus T-shirt similar to this uh, for $20, and if you get that bonus T-shirt, we add $500 to your payout. So now every one of those tags 
are worth $1,500 a piece. Yeah, where's the fundraiser going to, for the hand? So on our website, we have a thing called Worthy Causes. Every year, you go on and you submit your, your nonprofit organization. At the end of the year, we have a committee that takes a look at them. And every year, we donate money to nonprofit organizations. In five years, we've donated a little over $100,000 to various nonprofit organizations in Louisiana and Texas. Uh, you know, CCA does it for the habitat. Absolutely. Yeah, but do y'all got any organizations that deal with the habitat? Of the, Toledo Bend, the Toledo Bend Lake Association. We also do a lot with the high school sports, Southeast Texas High School Fishing Association, the Louisiana High School Fishing Association. Uh, we've also sponsored and, and helped start uh, over 20 high school programs, high school fishing teams uh, at various high schools around the state of Louisiana. Let's talk about Louisiana. I, I see you, you gave me a little heads up. Uh, you got seven venues nationwide, right? Yes, sir. Seven right. venues nationwide here in Louisiana. Uh, we're adding two new, new lakes this year in Louisiana. Uh, the Delta area, we're, we're, you know, venues instead of lakes, I guess would be a better way to call it. Uh, down here in the Delta, we're putting tagged fish in the Atchafalaya Basin, Lake Verrett, Bayou Black, Desalmonds, Salvador, Catawachi, Lafitte, Lake Morpaw, and Delacro. We have cash tags spread all throughout those. And then we also have that boat tag out there that could win them a loaded out Phoenix boat. Uh, $50 to participate. It's going to kick off on February 1st and going to go all the Next way week. through. Yes, sir. Go all the way through May 31st. So for $50, you have four months. You can fish as much as you'd like. And if you get lucky and catch one of those tags, you're guaranteed at least $1,000. And if you picked up that bonus T-shirt, $1,500. So grand total, just in the Delta, We've put three hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of tags for these anglers to go out there and try to catch. We got a lot of Louisiana anglers. They go, as you said, nothing in Mississippi, so they won't. But in Alabama, got some, and that's a little bit further. But Texas, Texas, our yes, sir. Sam Rayburn, Sam Rayburn, Lake Fork, Fork uh, and then Caddo Lake is another lake like Toledo Bend that's shared with Texas and Louisiana, right on the border. Uh, and this will be the first year that we're doing Caddo. Uh, on Caddo Lake, we're doing 150 cash tags. Each one of those are going to be the same thing, $1,000 or $1,500 if you got the bonus T-shirt. And then we also have a boat tag on Caddo. Uh, so for all the, the anglers up north Louisiana that like to fish Toledo Bend, Caddo Lake, uh, they can go to either one of those and, and, and hopefully catch them a tag and win them a little bit of money while they're out there fishing just on a, on a Tuesday. I'm waiting, you know? on, I'm waiting on my T-shirt. But look. Right? P.D., tell yes, us sir. the fastest, best way can people get started and get a, get, be a member. Very easy. Go to BassCashBash.com, and we've got a list of all of our registration stations across Louisiana. Uh, you can register there online, or you can stop in one, any one of our great registration stations and get signed up. But don't be that guy that catches that fish, and you're not registered for Bass Cash Bash. You sound like them guys from CCA. Don't be that guy. Don't be a cool young. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very Thank much you for gentlemen. having me. I appreciate the help. We're going to bring you back. Yes, sir. Yeah, in a we're couple months, a little we'll report. Know how it's going. Be yes, glad sir. You're done. Absolutely. Stay tuned for more Paradise for We've Down. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious, thirst quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pod's moving in storage solved. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. 
They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and this is our last duck report <laughs> of the year. I'm going to tell you what, I, I, I put out the word, and I didn't get the word for the last couple days from uh, up in the east zone. Uh, I, the first report I got was from my good buddy, Brendan, Brendan Dubrock, and uh, our faith good guy. He, he hunts it religiously. He does. He, so glad to quit. He said there's so much fresh water in Catahoula and there's so much boat traffic. And I'm going to tell you again, we're going to talk about that because that's the same thing Ryan Lambert said. Ryan Lambert said they were down, they were down to about 85% of what their good, good and great years are. He still killed some on a few. But he thinks it would have been, I don't know if it would have been 100% better, but it would have been better if all those Code drives and the, and the other base, the gator tails and all those boats and surface drives have been making a lot of noise. And they're running all during the day. They don't ever stop. And they're running the birds off. So I'm getting that from everybody, from the Chafalaya, Catahoula, wherever that is. Now, let me tell you, I know it's going to be controversial. In fact, I was one of them. I said, oh, y'all don't start that. I just got my pro drive. It is a problem. Now, we got a lot of controversial things going on in Louisiana. I want y'all to weigh in on it. Email me at Gary at Paradise, Louisiana. I'll get some of these comments. How do you think we can solve this problem without hurting the manufacturers or hurting these boots? Now, if you would, uh, if you come up with an idea like maybe uh, can't run on certain hours, uh, you can't do you know, do this, you, you got a time to get in on those boats. Uh, you can do it before and after the season, you're scouting. There's no doubt about it, you're getting in places you couldn't get in before with a regular boat. And uh, we pride ourselves on that. I was proud of that. But uh, we, we hurt in the habitat. They say we hurt in the habitat. they saying we running the birds off. We complaining. A lot of birds I've been hearing from right now, I talked to Byron Briggs, all them boys hunting Oklahoma, Kansas, Kentucky, and they're not short-stopping these birds. Some of these are dry fields. I, you ain't come, can't blame Ducks Unlimited. I don't know whether the flight is changing and this. The agriculture fields has changed in, uh, down in Gato and all them. And there's still people killing. But, uh, you know, I have near the many, many speckle bellies and geese and everything didn't show up this year. The biggest fight of uh, speckle bellies I saw is right there across in Port Allen, Louisiana. So uh, let me give you some people that had some success duck hunting. Uh, I see that right now, I Brian Briggs and them had a great hunt in Oklahoma. Uh, him and Jeff Bernard and, and Trip Bernard and Blair and, and the family, they made a, they got a limit of wood ducks in the St. Landry Parish up in the woods. So, congratulations, what a beautiful, when I first saw that picture, I said, boy, look at them, man. they're all wood ducks. So, the limit is three, by the way, and they, they killed the limit. Uh, A.J. Bacari, he closed out his season over there in St. Rose. You might have noticed the last couple of weeks I was sending you pictures. He said some of them were model ducks, but... They killed two true black mallards this year over there, so it's different. Uh, these, these are some funny looking. It, it wasn't a, a good last weekend, but here's a, f a few good looking uh, ducks he killed, and really I couldn't identify them. Uh, my favorite photo is Jack Beard. That's the grandson of Scooter Day. Scooter and them had a two. You know, two or three good days hunting in his blind in uh, Turkey Creek. And uh, that's his grandbaby. This is his baptism or his initiation into duck hunting. And that's Jack Beard. And Scooter, thank you and your sister for sending me that picture because it is, it, it is priceless. And keep it up. 
Now we're going to deer hunting. Tommy Tussle, uh, he, they, he's a senior at Port Barry High School, and uh, he's a pride of his dad, dead Nick and his grandfather, Stephen St. Cyr. He's been killing deer since he was five years old. He likes to duck hunt also. What really makes him so popular with those, he, he debones them, he gives them the meat so they can make them good Cajun sausages that they make over there in Opelousas area. So Ralph Campanile, a good friend of mine, had his grandkids down. Uh, he's, doing, he's doing two things right now. You know, he likes to get some meat. That's all he did, kill a few for meat. He's looking for the trophy. His grandson last year killed some trophies. He had none this year. But you notice he's trying to eradicate them hogs. Here's a big hog he killed. And uh, that's my buddy Ralph. Uh, I, I'm going to go over there and help him later on try to eradicate them hogs. But he got a, he got a private lake. And uh, it's unbelievable how much fun we have over there. He's one of the better cooks around. Uh, I look, like I told you about buying Briggs and all them, but I, I called Top Gun. I, I didn't get a report from there. Now, let me tell you what. Captain Jody Donwire, y'all know him. He's one of the better captains over there and, and, and down south. He used to be, uh, oh, he was over there. I, I done got tongue-tied again right now going to Venice Center. He's down there fishing. All this year, he's getting ready to start back up. He said it might be a couple months, but he, he, he's booking quick. So he, he's booking, and that guy stays on the fish. But he's really been after. He didn't have a whole lot of duck hunts up in Arkansas where we used to hunt, but he, in Alabama, he'd been deer hunting. And see if some of he done. So you can look him up, Captain Jody Dunwire, and you can start booking fishing trips. Let me see if I'm missing something. Let me see what I'm missing here. So that's, I think that's the only deer I got, and that's the only ducks. Stay tuned. We come back. I got a guest, and if Berkeley, I'll be going to see a fishing for I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract a driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. How you doing? My name's Ryan Angolia. I'll be over here at the Lake Hathor Marina, and I will have live shrimp. I'll also have another bait shop that I'll be opening on Highway 11. If you need some bait, come see me.
The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. See my guest right here, Mr. Fred King with Delta Lewis. Fred, before I get started, I want to tell you, I want to thank you. You donate so many, you sponsor so many of these tunnels, especially the high school kids. You, 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 you gave me a few baits too. Oh, yeah. You know, I know you're not our sponsor, but you do a lot for the high school kids, and I appreciate you. Well, I like and, uh, helping out the high school kids and the junior bass masters because that's our... Uh, that's what's coming up in the future, huh? That's the future of fishing, those, those uh, young anglers. And by the way, you come from a long way making your baits. You started out there with the old man with the Yeah. What, what was his name? Mr. Euclid Trigg. Yep, uh, yeah. He helped me out. And then Jimbo, my old good buddy, Jimbo Robinson. So keep it up. You ever look for a good spinner bait? There he is. And uh, I'm sucking up. I'll get a few before he leaves. So. <laughs> Look, let's talk about some of them things that are coming up right now. I want to remind y'all again about the South Louisiana Crappie Trail. And that's starting on the 15th. And uh, check the brochures. Go to their website and check it out. You got a report. Uh, uh, David Cavell, and he's going to be down in Okato. Yeah, right now, uh, David Cavell, this week, he's fishing down at the uh, BASS Federation Regional down at Lake Okeechobee. So I think the tournament starts Wednesday. So good luck to him. I guess they were so busy. Uh, the high school had their qualifier to lead a bend. Uh, Gene Hoover, poor thing, him and his wife probably so busy. I didn't get a report for this show. I promise you I'll run it next week and we'll sign out how they did. So uh, didn't get it. Uh, fishing report right now, I'm going to tell you, salt water's been a little different. You, you said you have some reports from uh, uh, Delacro, yeah. So down yeah. in Delacro, I know along the twin pipelines and the spider pipelines, they've been catching some speckled trout, some redfish, and some bass, all in the same areas. Any kind of drains coming off into the pipeline. What's been the best bait? Live bait or uh, plastic? All I know about is they've been fishing some, uh, like a worm for the bass down in the cuts, and then throwing like a, a matrix shad or a minnow down on the bottom. Well, that worked. Ricky Bailey been killing the fish over at the lodge. It's <laughs> He sent me a notice, he was crying. It was the first time he didn't catch. He didn't have but eight, they didn't have but eight trout. No redfish, no bass. So I said, well, what was the trouble, Rick? He said, well, a lot of fresh water. I said, well, the tide's moving? He said, yeah, I don't know if he said, I, I think it's the fresh water, uh, just the weather for some reason. Uh, it, it just wasn't fine. They didn't catch but eight. The first bad trip he had down in, in the lodge. Uh, Bob Black right now, fresh water. I'm getting all the reports. The Junior Southwest Bathmasters kids did very good over there in the tournament. Uh, Wendell Williams told me the same thing. He he was down there. He was catching in, anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 pound stringers, you know, on a couple of days over there. But uh, uh, I also got a report from you. They come from Bob Bluff, right? Yep. So down in Lake Buff. So we've been, the, la the last few weeks, all in January, we've been uh, tagging the fish for that bash, cash, bash. So I've been all over down South Louisiana catching fish in uh, Lake Buff. They were catching some fish on uh, like a vibrating uh, uh, jig and then the swim jig too. I've been personally catching a lot of fish on the swim jig all in that area. That's the colors you use, you're swimming it? Yep, yep. This is, is my- this is a shad? Or? Exactly, this is my favorite color right here. We catch a lot of fish on that. And you just you just reel that in. It's real and that's simple your to work. regular jig, right there. Yep, and right here, a lot of we, this has been the best seller this uh, last few weeks. Has been the black, blue, and purple half ounce jig. Well, right, I've done dinner, man. Now, also, now we're talking about we're talking Lake Desalmas. You getting any reports from over there with Sakalay? I have not heard anything about Sakalay, but uh, I know they've been catching some bass north of uh, Highway 90, like in the uh, <clears throat> off of Bayou uh, Desalmas, all the lakes. I'm going to tell you another thing, right? Uh, the words down there, Lake Verrett, now they have some problems with some fresh water, this and that, but uh, in Crackerhead and a couple of days, still catching some beautiful sacrilege. They ain't catching the numbers, but uh, it turn on any, uh, going up north, all I've been hearing is duck reports. 
and deer reports and hunting reports. <clears throat> I just want to remind y'all now, squirrel season and rabbits coming up, so y'all be, be conscious of thinking about it. Rabbits are hard to find. Rabbits are fine. Squirrels everywhere this year. That's a good thing. So we're, I'm looking forward to some of that. Fishing with Tucker is coming up this weekend, too. Uh, we got word, uh, you got this word, David Gleason right. Right from here, Louisiana. Come in third in the where? FLW uh, tournament. First uh, year fishing FLW. He came in third at San Urban this past weekend. Yeah, and they had a lot of fish. We've been hearing great reports from, Le from Sam Raven and Toledo Ben. So right now, it's pre spawn in all those places. There's a lot of big fish. Oh, My yeah. good friend, Gene Andre, yeah, and one of his friends sent me this picture, Gene, with his big old bass, come from False River. This was one of 12 he caught on a vibrating jig. Oh. That's amazing. And it's uh, a good bait to use this time of the year. It's one of the best baits to, to catch uh, some real big fish. Don't forget, you send me a report, send me a uh, tournament you got coming up, call me three weeks in advance or email me. The best way is email me with the dates and the times. And every Sunday until the event, you email me again. Fred and call me 15 times. Maybe we get yeah. it. Appreciate it. Fred, thank you. Thank you. What you do, keep sponsoring those kids. Uh, you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. And Gary at paradiselouisiana.com. Weigh in on what I was asking you about all these uh, these gator tails, the gator, you know, all these gator boats, all those pro drive, all these boats that it, it's just unbelievable right now. Sort of calling problem. Maybe we can solve it by next year. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. This is your weekly trip to Paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance.